What about the snail trail? There was one morning I was taking my son Oliver to school a couple of years ago, and we were there walking to the school, and the, there was a snail in the middle of the path, and Oliver says, Dad, Dad, look out. There's a snail. You don't want to stand on it. And so we avoided the snail, and Oliver turns around and says, Dad, what about what's this? What's this thing behind the snail? And I said, Well, that is a snail trail. And he said to me, What is that? I said, I don't know. Let me Google it. <laughs> so <laughs> I Googled it. And I said, Well, the snail trail looks like it's an ooze. The snail oozes ooze so we can move, so we can get greasy underneath and so we can glide and keep moving. And as it moves, it leaves that ooze behind. And that ooze that it leaves behind is a snail trail, right? Now, Here's the thing, like Oliver is, uh, like I answered Oliver's question, and then I got an epiphany. I said to Oliver, I said, oh, my Lord, this is amazing. Now he started looking at me in a really weird way. I said, this is amazing. I said, the trail of the snail never appears in front of the snail. It's always behind the snail. The trail of the snail is left behind after the snail moves. Now, most people live their life waiting for the trail to appear waiting for the right signs to appear, waiting for the right, right road to appear. But as the snail in all of its beauty and purity shows us that the path will only appear when we move. It's amazing. Now, if I'm overly going over the top here and freaking out, I just, I just love this because I just think, just look at a tree, look at a duck, look at a river, look at a lake, look at a snail, and we get to learn about clarity. The clarity trap is one of the ego's favorite ways of holding us back because it loves to tell us that we can't move until we know where we're going and what we're doing. So that's what I thought I'd share with you today, a little bit shorter than usual, but I thought the clarity trap. So if you're stuck in indecision, if you're stuck in, in, in wondering which way should you go around this particular decision, well, you will only gain clarity when you move in any direction have a conversation, go for a run. I don't know, it just through movement comes some kind of clarity. And we will never know what the future holds. We cannot know what the future holds. It's impossible. We can only be clear on where we are at right now. And as far as, our, as I said earlier, our psychological lights will shine. So beyond that, it's all an ego projection. It's all the ego trying to control the future. So I trust this conversation was uh, timely and perhaps uh, useful. And uh, I look forward to uh, catching up with you again next week for episode six. And I trust you've enjoyed today's little chat on the clarity trap. All right. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your morning, wherever you are. And talk soon. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.